Coming up on this episode of Organization Motivation, it's Whole House Harmony. Come along as we help our client, Rayetta, declutter her garage. It was a huge project and we helped her put up shelving and wall units. We were then able to bring everything back in to create a place for all the items that belonged in the garage, including a kid zone. The harmony continued into her house. We transformed her closet and mudroom into perfect places for the whole family to be able to utilize. Next, we hear from Courtney Ray Casper from today's CNY Woman Magazine, who tells us about the fantastic June issue. Then we hear from Joy of California Closets to hear some clever space saving and organizing tips. And a big welcome to our new sponsor, Everpresent. They will be giving you tips to make sure that the sounds, stories, and images of the past are recorded for your future. All this and more coming up on Organization Motivation. As a declutter coach, my team and I help families and businesses cut the clutter, get organized, and lead a more productive and stress-free life. Come along on our journey as we help our clients and find the motivation you need to make positive changes in your life. This is Organization Motivation. We are here at the home today of our client, Ray Etta, and we are in Cicero, New York, at a beautiful neighborhood and a beautiful day to do a garage clean out. We've got the whole team here today, Mary Carol, Betsy, and Donna, and we are excited to get started. Yay! Yeah, so what do you think, Brianna? What is, what's going on in this garage for you? Uh, it's a lot of, you know, you just get it and find this home for it. You just kind of tuck it away and then you go to find it later and you go, I know it's in here. No, <laughs> you can't find it. All right, where is it? So that's our goal today. We're going to start working on this garage. We're going to get it organized. We've got a lot of new products that the family purchased so that we can get those up and, and get things off the floor and, and easier to find. So we've got our work cut out for us today, so stay tuned. Okay, well, we're getting going here in the garage. There are a lot of empty boxes, a lot of items to go through. We're gonna go one by one, decide if it's something they wanna keep, if it's something they wanna donate, and then we're gonna like things together. So outdoor um, garden things will be in one area, um, bikes and that stuff will be in other areas. So we're gonna right now get everything out and moving so we know what we have to deal with. And then they've bought some really nice shelving and we'll get it all up and organized. All right, well, we're moving and shaking, and we found lots of boxes that Rayetta had packed away with the intention of maybe getting a camper one day. But Rayetta, how long have they been there, honey? Uh, five years. Five so. years. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, it's a beautiful day out. We're gonna have Rayetta sit in this chair, and I want her to actually go through all these items. And if they're things that you're not gonna use, and if they've been in this box for five years, our tip is you probably don't need them. I'm but we want you to I go through. I yeah. I don't think I wanna go through this one. So I'm want, gonna go through that one, but I want. So you want to you want to go through this one? Oh, you're gonna all let it go. Oh, I'm so proud of you. She's making really good decisions to let things go. So we're gonna take this whole box and donate. But there's other boxes here that Rihanna's gonna take a look at. But our tip for you viewers is if you've got things in your home that you've moved from one house to another, and Rihanna and her family have lived actually all over the world, and you know if you're not opening things and they've been in your garage or your basement or your attic and you haven't used them in years, chances are everything in that box is really not gonna be something that you're gonna need or want to keep. Go through it real quickly. If you don't see any old family photos or mementos you know pass it on maybe somebody else can use it you've got some really great things in here for the kitchen that I think you know would be great to donate or consign okay yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna get started moving that over and Rihanna's gonna sit down and start having a peek at all of her crystal oh, yeah. crystal's hard to let go I understand but only keep the things that you really cherish and you really love and you're gonna use Okay. All and right. It's probably safe that this isn't the stuff this that isn't I really, it, right because it's yeah. already in your beautiful home okay cool Okay. So this is one of those boxes that's moved a few times, probably four moves or so. And so um, I think I got this when um, I was 10 years old, like at a birthday, like, yeah, when I was 10. So that's a while ago. I think we can get <laughs> Oh, oh, look. Anybody wants a pasta? <laughs> 97. 
Oh, okay. Well, they're all the same. Okay. I think we're basically, I should just uh, chalk it up. Yep, this is an Ichiban trip for her birthday. You know, we went to oh, and I had oh, a how drink, cute. you know. Yeah, I think I was 10, 12. Yeah. 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 So that can go? Yeah, yeah all the stuff. That? So far, I, I, I honestly, the only thing that I'm thinking maybe, these kind of look like fun cups that we, we actually never use for iced tea, big iced tea cups. And I've been looking every once in a while, I go to the store and I look for a big plastic cup for... Okay. And little do you know they're right in your garage. Well, I knew I had some, but I thought maybe I got and rid of them. <laughs> Coming up, the garage cleanup continues. And later, watch as we continue to bring harmony into Rayetta's home. Next, we hear from Courtney Ray Casper from today's CNY Woman magazine. Then, we hear from Joy of California Closets following a tip from our new sponsor, Everpresent. 